Greetings today. We will check out GR3 and GR3 Plus ground scanner devices, previously sold under Comrade, now sold under Comrade's global brand Ground Tech. We will review them in this video, from package contents to how to use, as well as working principles and important tips. <laughs> Let's start with the price. This is a very good ground scanner device for this price. Let's talk about detection depth, which is the most important detail for users. Maximum detection depth depends on target diameter, how long target stayed, underground, target position, land conditions and soil compose. These factors can affect search results of the device giving exact depth of the detected target is not possible with ground scanner devices and metal detectors as well. According to the manufacturer, Comrade's tests and analyzes shows a maximum depth of 7 meters for the GR3 Plus model, a maximum depth of 5 meters for GR3. Ground scanner devices, unlike metal detectors, does not detect small targets. A minimum target should be at least 10 to 10 centimeter or bigger. For targets this small, in order to be detected by ground scanner, target must have stayed underground for years. It is important to know that sensors can also detect dense minerals in the soil. That is why there is a false detection chance. A good tip to keep in mind when looking for ground scanners, always make sure to choose products. Based on what you need, if your purpose is to find large objects or cavities that should be in deep underground, then these GR3 and GR3 Plus are right devices for you. Now, let us look into package contents of these GR3 Plus and GR3 devices in detail. We'll start with GR3 Plus model, here is the products package. It comes with a protective box, along with original Conrad label tag. I open the package. Here you can see the protective sponge our device is the GR3 Plus model package, for GR3 is the same. The only difference is the device inside box contents are the same here. Is a weatherproof carrying bag. There is a double sided Type C charger and a charging adapter here. Warranty documentation and user manual are. Over here, instructions for the devices in this booklet. You can also find the details of the device app here and all the details in the booklet. If you want to use the application of this device, you can use the QR code on the booklet or the QR code on the box to scan it with a compatible iOS or Android device. After scanning the QR code, you can find the app and download it to your phone. Then quickly connect to Ground Scanner. Serial number of your device is located in the label right here. We'll need the serial number in order to connect your device to the application. This was the content of the device B. GR3 and GR3 Plus devices has a two-year warranty. We now saw the package contents of GR3 Plus for package. There is no difference between GR3 and GR3 Plus, carrying bag, charging cable the package outside and inside design are the same. The only difference is that GR3 Plus has double sensor and GR3 has a single sensor. This is the only difference between the two device according to factory data. GR3 Plus can detect up to 7 meters and GR3 can detect up to 5 meters as maximum depth range. Let's see the device interface. There is an on top button here you can check if the Bluetooth is active or not by checking the light here. If it is flashing blue Bluetooth is active. If it is green, Bluetooth is connected. The LED over here is the charging display. It shows the remaining battery level. You can turn the device on or off from here at this side. 
There is a trigger for manual scans. You can use the trigger at each step, or you can use the button on the application. It is a start or stop button for area scanning. We will see the app and its interface in detail. When we connect the device to the app, this device is one of the lightest and smallest ground scanner device among all the options in the market. We can say that it is a really beautiful and easy to use these ground scanner devices also excel in practicality. Excellent. Now let's continue with device setup to use this device. You need a suitable Android or iOS device that can run the app for GR3 or GR3 Plus to find the application. There are QR codes on the box. Left QR code is for iOS, right QR code is for Android. You can get the app by scanning the QR codes with your phone or tablet. Let me show you the application. Looks like this, Conrad GR3. When you use the app for the first time, it will ask for a few permissions. You can grant permissions from the settings. Permissions app will ask for location access. First, you need to give this permission about section contains device data and your registration info, including email address, link to your account. In the devices section, here your device, phones and tablets you have connected to, license parties where you can see your device serial number and your registered email address. The connection part is for connecting your GR3 or GR3 Plus to your phone or tablet initially. Languages are set based on your location. There are also other language options to select from for easier use. There are a lot of options you can use. Let me go back to main menu so, when the device is not connected here the connection option has this red dot, same as Bluetooth. When you connect to the device, the battery indicator of the device is right here. We will check this again when it is connected, as you can see the 3D scan, live scan, files and settings section. There are also shortcuts on your screen, use these shortcuts directly from here, you can access them. Let me start with the files I made before app records your previous scans. You can also review or rename those scans. In the settings section, you can find the interface. I showed before in the live scanning section. Pinpointer mode is for pinpointing a target's location. Scanning is for a general search to detect potential changes or areas of interest in the field before a careful analysis. You can check the results of live scanning. To start where to scan in detail in 3D mode, you can create three-dimensional map of the scan target area. Let's connect GR3 to the app settings, connection, allow Bluetooth access and turn on phone Bluetooth dot dot now. We switch on this button on our GR3 device, we press the button. It is currently glowing blue. As you can see, we ask device to scan for Bluetooth. Remember to turn on Bluetooth service search for device. It found our device, now we tap on yes. App found the device, we press connect. When it is connected, you can see that it is connected, you can hear the sound. Let me show you the main screen again. We can see and check the interface currently app show the remaining battery of GR3 as 13 percent device with the charging indicator to show its percentage connection and Bluetooth are glowing green as these are currently active. Let me quickly explain scanning methods live scanning. When you begin you need to make a calibration in the soil you want to search, but in an area where there isn't any metal or target in range after calibration, place the sensor on the surface.
When it is just green, it is just earth with no other. Significant target in range, dark blue means cavity, red means metal, or very heavy minerals. When it is slightly orange or yellowish colors, we can say it is mineral. Let's proceed with pointer setting. To calibrate again, you need to make a zigzag shape like this. Let me explain about the interface. Now when you detect a metal target, the indicator here turns to left. It should point around here, below 50% for a target. Upon detecting something, the sound gets louder. To change the sensitivity of the device for detecting targets deep underground, you can adjust the sensitivity here, increase or decrease it from here. Threshold value can be adjusted from here. Threshold sound is a constant humming, just like this. Remember to calibrate the device before adjusting. These settings, if device detects something, the needle rotates to left, to red if it is metal. The needle rotates to right, to blue if it is cavity. Anything in between 40 and 40 or green. Color indicates that there is no significant change, no significant target in scanned area. That was the pointer mode. For this device, the most important mode and the parts where you will get the most efficiency is the 3D scanning parts. There are a few details about this mode as well 3D scanning. If you wish, you can search manually or automatically something you need to pay attention to that you need to choose a direction from north to south or south to north. After choosing, now you can start. Scan area should be a 10 to 10 while centering around the place you suspect. Hold the sensor a few inches above the ground. Two inches will be enough, like this. Make sure to hold it vertically. Walk in equal steps according to manufacturer's data. Steps should be 30 centimeters apart because diameter of the magnetic field around the sensor is roughly 30 centimeters, which shows a single square in the graph. With this, you can get better results from scans. Make sure to walk in equal steps during a scan. To make this easier, you can draw on the ground or lay a net with square holes too. The ground, similar to the sample image, after the scan is done, you should search again, centering around. Areas marked with blue or red on the chart to check marked areas in detail so that you won't miss any possible targets. I will using a pre-recorded chart. After an initial search, I highly recommend scanning an area next to your scanned area and repeat this for all the sides of the square area to give exact measurements for a 10 to 10 area Roughly 3 meters to the sides should be enough. Save these graphs and compare with the first scan's graph of the area. GR3 can catch magnetic distortion of the terrain. So by comparing these graphs, you can check that there is something there. Or is it a false response with GR3? You can only scan and search. By holding it vertically scanning while holding horizontally on the rocks is not possible so don't try it as I mentioned before. There is 3D manual and automatic search options. For different searching methods, there are two options these methods are zigzag and parallel. I will go through examples for manual search option. At the bottom of the device handle, there is a special button, we call this button the trigger button. During manual search, for each step, you must press the trigger, scan the zone and get data, but in automatic search, you have to press the trigger at the beginning and then walk with even steps when a column is finished. Now if you need to continue right side or start a new column, then from starting point, you should you can search towards left or right depends on the field and your desired area. You should start searching based on place you want to choose according to your target area and its size. Suppose you chose manual search, then left and from scanning directions, zigzag option right here now. Hold the GR3 device upright to inch above the ground walk straight with even steps until the columns end now. Go one step to the right without turning and one step back, still not turning around. Take steps back until the column is over now. Again one step to the right and walk ahead during a search. Always look at the same direction 
While using zigzag scan option, for parallel scan option method, you start from your starting point and walk until the end of column. Return your starting points, then turn and take a step to the right or left depending on what you chose in the options, then walk forward until the end of column again. Walk in even steps. For choosing the area size, 10 to 10 is recommended by the manufacturer. Each unit is 30 centimeters, so you can adjust the search zone based on this and let's start a scan. We will see a screen like this on the app to get the data. You can use the trigger button or press this button on the app. Your data will form a graph like this, as you can see. Many squares with data has formed here. I'm closing this scan right now. If I want, I can save this and enter the date. Or I can save it as video trial. I can also name the file. Like this I can save it for example this. Recorded half of a graph displayed. Like this because we stopped halfway. App showed the empty parts in green. I will go on with an example search. Graph stored in the app to explain. According to this graph, green. Area here is our reference point or. Just the soil with no significant target, red areas. We can say there could be metal. There and as you can see on the left, there could be some metal there as well. So to detect more accurately, always make new search while centering around the left out red or blue areas to not miss any target. If you press here, the numerical values for all the squares in the graph, we will use green areas as a reference for reading the graph. So for this graph, in order to say that it is metal, that zone number should be at least 20 units higher than the reference number. As you can see, our reference range is 94 to 85 in the red area. Value is 188. So from the values and graph results, we can say that there could be metal there for cavity. In order to say that there could be cavity from our reference number, based on green zones in the graph, for cavity, this time minus 20 cavity numeric value can be at most 20 lower reference value, which is between 94 to 85 blue zones are right here. Their numeric values are around 47 to 50. To be able to say there is a cavity, it should be dark blue light blues, like these could be cracks or areas devoid of minerals in the soil yellow. And orange colors are points that we could call minerals an important factor here is that knowing the soil in the area you are searching can help you to evaluate graphs like these better so that you can detect objects deeper underground. Assume you chose a sandy area from these options after searching in such place. Now, numeric values on the graph can mean different actual depth. So when reading the graph, make sure you chose an appropriate soil option. If you choose an option similar to your terrain, graph can give you the approximate depth of the target with higher accuracy. To get the depth data, use this ruler sign here to see the depth value. There are some color filters here. If you wish, you can filter it like this. I don't want to see the gaps or reference point zones. I only want to see metal then. You can choose which color to isolate if you want the graph to turn back to its previous state. Just press that you can also view this image in three dimensions. Move with your finger like this and examine in more detail finally. There is a spectrum at the bottom this spectrum. And this bar has a number of percentage values available. This part 23% in the parts with spaces. According to the graph, soil has a percentage value of 41% is what we call our green area is 41%. So here data tells us this scan was quite good and will give pretty accurate results. This was the live scan details. This is our GR3 Plus model. If you want to own one of these devices from the link in the description section contact information, reach to our experts, you can ask the questions in your mind and get answers. Thank you for your attention. Take care. Goodbye.